Alright, welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Miguel Enriquez and in today's video we are going to be creating a family with a slow. So let's see how we do it. In Revit 2022 we are going to create a new family. So we are going to create new. We are going to make sure that we are in the RVT 2022 folder and then we will select family templates and here English and we are going to look for the metric generic model right so we are going to be working in a gen generic model in here as soon as you open your family you will see four tabs here the 3d view a front view a left view and a reference level so in the reference level we are going to create some reference planes so we're going to create one here like this and one here like this now we are going to mirror those two around my middle reference plane so i will select this one and i will make sure i select the reference plane that i want to mirror first and then mm if you hover your mouse here you will see the shortcut is mm so with mm we're going to select this one and we're going to do the same here with mm we can do that so now we're going to do some dimensions with the eye we are going to select this reference plane, this one, and this one. We're going to do the same here. And now we are going to do one that crosses over. And the same here. We're going to give this a name or a label. So we are going to select it and go here to create a parameter. This one will be A, an instance. I can give it a tooltip if I want to if I want to share it with someone else and probably will want them to know what this does but anyhow I will just work with this so I will give it another letter like B here and I have those those two I will go to any other view and in here I will create another reference plane so remember RP to create a reference plane we'll create two of them All right and I will dimension from this to here this will be C and I will also do another one here to here and this will be the Sony instance All right so what happened is that I need to make sure that this is equal always and this is also equal always so now if I move these they will move together the same in here right so once I have that I can start creating so I will go to front and I see my reference planes here I will do this okay the that one I cannot move so I will give these two a name so this will be A this will be B and now I can start creating my family so I will go to create and I will use a blend a solid blend I will set my reference plane or work plane and in this case will be A okay and I will choose the left one 
and in here I will create a rectangle like that, like here. Alright, before I exit, I will make sure to lock all of these lines in place and then I will go to edit the other one. I will set the other reference plane and I will also do it with a rectangle and I will also lock them in place. Alright, and I will click here to finish. Now we will go to the other view and I need to make sure that this lock in place with my reference lines and here the same all right so now if I move this I will see that the family also is locked in place okay cool so I have something here now how do I make sure that this works and that it will give me my slope so I will go here to properties and I will create another another parameter so I will go here and this will be E also an instance and this one will be my slope all right so the one that it will always change it will be D I can set all of them but the D one, it will change if I change the slope, all right? So how do I know the formula to make sure I know the slope? So I will show you here. So the slope, uh, let's see, I will use this one. So the slope will be E, so that is my slope and this will be equal to the difference between the highs like this will this was c the shorter one this was d so it will be the difference between those two so it will be d minus c divided by the difference between the length so in this case it's just one length and that was a so it will be a and that gonna be times 100 right? so because the slopes are always a percentage I need to do a times 100 All right so we need to make sure that we clear the D so we'll do E times times A right so this goes here divided by 100 right and now make sure that this will be E minus C so the C will go to the other side so it will be A times E times A divided by 100 plus C equals D. So there we have it. That is the formula that we need. So we will write it here. So it was uh, A times E divided by 100 plus C. All right. So now if I change this to be Two, it will change the d value all right for example i want this to be one this this is one meter 20 centimeters 
and this one also 20 centimeters and that is correct all right so it is working it works great let's see if it works if we bring it to um to a project so let's go to file create new in this case a new project it will be a plumbing could be anything in this case just plumbing all right and i will bring my family so i go to my family and load into project place it anywhere it says that i cannot see this because my view range is too high so i will go minus 1000 and minus 1000 here as well and now i can see it right so there i have it i will do a cut so i can see my slope and you know i can also change here from here i can give it the length that i want and i can also change my slope to three and we are going to see if it's working or not so here i have it you can also change it from here how do we know if it's giving me the right slope or not we are going to go to annotate and spot slope so now i put it in here it give you giving me a weird value i can change that i will change also this so it's not too big so i can change that i select my tag i go to edit type and i go here to unit format and i will change it to percentage and with the percentage symbol all right so now i can see that is a three percent i can make it as long as i want and it will always remain like that all right so i can change it to four it works to two it keeps working so that is how you create a family that actually allows you to change the slope and also to control all the parameters of the family if you like this video don't forget to give it a like share it with others and subscribe so you don't miss any one of my videos